dramatic play, A Streetcar Named Desire, tells the story of desire and disaster of four primary characters, Blanche Dubois, her sister Stella, Stella's husband Stanley Kowalski, and Stanley's friend Mitch. Blanche Dubois comes from a formerly wealthy Southern family that owned a plantation called Belle Reve. Raised as a refined lady, Blanche does not cope well with life's harsh realities and feels she needs a man to protect her. Blanche uses desire and illusion to suppress the reality of death and loss. When Blanche was young, she married a man who committed suicide when Blanche rejected him for being homosexual. Since then, Blanche has had affairs with several men, including a 17-year-old boy, in an attempt to escape the trauma caused by the death of her husband. When Blanche arrives at the apartment of her sister Stella and her husband Stanley Kowalski in New Orleans, she's a desperate woman who's lost everything. Still, she keeps up her Southern Belle act to protect herself from the harsh world and to get a man to marry her. Blanche's ladylike affections clash with gruff Stanley's crude manners, and they come to hate each other. Eventually, Stanley confronts Blanche and rapes her. As a result, Blanche becomes mentally unstable. Stanley Kowalski lives with his wife Stella in a small apartment in New Orleans. Stanley is a crude, domineering man who's physically imposing and sees himself as the ruler of his family. When Stanley feels this power structure is threatened, he can become violent, throwing things and even beating Stella. Even so, Stanley has a strong sexual and emotional bond with his wife. When Blanche comes to stay with him and Stella, Stanley clashes with her. Stanley loves down-to-earth ideas, is bluntly honest, and often relies on physical intimidation. Stanley hates what he perceives as Blanche's superior attitude toward him and sees her as a threat to his family order. As a result, he uncovers the truth about Blanche's sexual history in Laurel and uses it against her, then rapes her. Stella Kowalski is Stanley's wife and Blanche Dubois' younger sister. Stella is more practical and adaptable than Blanche, willing to cast aside her upper-class affectations to marry Stanley, a crude working-class man. Stella acts as a mediator between Blanche and Stanley. She loves them both. She refuses to believe Blanche's story about being raped by Stanley. If Stella did believe it, she would not be able to live with her husband. Instead, Stella betrays her sister, helping Stanley get rid of Blanche by sending her to a mental institution. Mitch is Stanley Kowalski's good friend. He served in the army with Stanley and works for the same company. Mitch is single and lives with his sick mother, and he has an innate kindness and gentleness. He believes Blanche's Southern Belle act and falls in love with her. Blanche likes Mitch and wants to marry him so he will protect her. When Stanley tells Mitch the truth about Blanche's sexual history in Laurel, Mitch becomes disillusioned and bitter, refusing to marry her. In the end, he tries to prevent Stanley from forcing Blanche to leave, but his attempt proves futile, and he remains a broken man dominated by Stanley.